Hi everybody. Today I'll talk about a way to remember the power law of fluid. And in case you are appearing for any kind of competitive exams, you'll often be faced with the question that say for a particular value of n, what kind of fluid do you predict it to be? Newtonian, pseudoplastic or dilatant? So how can you remember this? Now, first of all, what is the power law of fluid equation? It says tau equals to k del u del y to the power n. Now, what is tau? Of course, you know it's the shear stress. K being the flow consistency index. The unit of this is given by Pascal multiplied by second to the power n where n is the flow behavior index. So basically your n is the determining factor for what kind of fluid you are dealing with. Now uh, from Newton's law of viscosity you know that tau is directly proportional to del u del y say our proportionality constant is n uh, sorry k. So del u del y necessarily has the power of 1. So when n equals to 1 the kind of fluid we are dealing with is Newtonian. Okay. When n is less than 1, the kind of fluid you are dealing with is pseudoplastic. And when n is greater than 1, the kind of fluid you are dealing with is dilatant. Now, pseudoplastic fluid, what happens is the viscosity decreases with stress or increase in stress. Whereas for dilatant fluid, the viscosity, okay, it's not just the viscosity, it's the apparent viscosity. Apparent viscosity increases with increase in stress. So, I already have a, a video on this. How do you remember it easily? So, this is my uh, secret formula to remi remember this. Now, you see, let's see how we can remember this stuff easily. So, Newtonian be n, dilatant be d, and pseudoplastic be p. Okay. So what does it say? Say Newtonian is kept at 1. No problem with that. Newton be 1. Dilatant is greater than 1. And pseudoplastic is less than 1. So d comes before n and p comes after n. So necessarily if we take n as 1, what do we expect? P should get a value greater than 1 and D should get a value lesser than 1 but it's just the opposite. So you can remember what your gut instinct says on a straight note that is not happening. It's just the opposite that is happening. Dilatant gets it greater than 1, D gets greater than 1 and P get, gets less than 1. So I hope uh, you'll be able to remember uh, for your exams.